Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn. Thank you, Adam. That was a, a hell of an intro. And uh, as you can see by the attendance here today, not just the whole of the world media, but also the attendance from this great company at Sky Sports, I think it's fair to say we have one hell of a fight on our hands on Saturday night. Talking of Sky Sports, it's important to remember the growth of boxing. And whilst I'd like to take the credit, without Sky Sports, British boxing just wouldn't be where it is today. Over the years, when boxing looked dead in the water, they remained the constant supporter as boxing had its ups and downs. Now, through this high, every broadcaster is trying to jump on the bandwagon. But let's remember who stayed loyal to the sport for many, many years and who has always flown the flag. So many international broadcasters to thank, and I think three particular is RTL and their support from Germany. And in America, Showtime and Steven Espinosa and HBO and Peter Nelson, it was a deal we worked on for two or three months to get this over the line. How many times do you see rival broadcasters have transmit the same fight on the same night? It's happened only twice before in their history. Lewis against Tyson and Pacquiao against Mayweather. A thank you to Showtime and HBO for allowing fight fans in America to see this great contest. It's an absolute pleasure to be working with Bernd Bonte. He's dealt with just about every promoter in his time with work diligently together to maximise this fight from the business end to the public end, to make sure we have an event that goes down in the history books, an event that we can all tell our children about and our children can tell their children about. That great night at Wembley when 90,000 people came together to witness a unification fight for the World Heavyweight Championship. It's an honour to have Vladimir Klitschko here. He has been a legend of the heavyweight division. What a great fighter growing up. He's seen it, he's done it all. This is his 29th World Championship heavyweight fight. And I know he's got the bit between his teeth. I know coming off that loss, all he wants to do is reclaim his status as the heavyweight champion of the world. This man to my right, Anthony Joshua. What a story. And I think Lucas Aid did such a great job recently to reenact that story and that journey over the years. We mustn't forget what the sport of boxing did for Anthony Joshua. We mustn't forget what the sport of boxing can do for young children in the community. He is the perfect example of the way that this great sport changed the direction of his life and the hard work and commitment that he has put in to put himself at the forefront of the sport as heavyweight champion of the world. He is an absolute honor to represent. But on Saturday night, he has the ultimate test. It's a test that should probably come in 26, 27 fights time. He sells out arenas, the pay-per-view numbers are incredible. So why risk it now? The answer is, he wants to challenge himself. You want to see great fights. You love sport. No one wants to know the answers before we sit down in that chair. On Saturday night, the answers will unfold right before your eyes. Is it too early? Is it too late? Is he really good enough? Is he the guy that everybody talks about, the future of boxing? You know what? Let's roll the dice. Let's find out. That's what great sport's all about. I promise you, if you're in Wembley Stadium on Saturday and you're one of the record-breaking 90,000, if you're watching it home, live on Sky Sports, you will not believe the atmosphere and the spectacle that you will see unfold before your eyes. It is an honor to be promoting this event. I thank you so much and let's all get behind the fighters, and particularly Anthony Joshua. What a journey, what a story. Let's go on Saturday night for a huge event. Thank you so much. Thanks, Eddie. Now to the man.